So starting off this room tour video, I'm going to show you um, my Christmas tree. So this is my beautiful white Candyland inspired Christmas tree with pink and blue and candy and all those kinds of things. I wasn't going to add my Disney ornaments, but once I started putting all the decorations on, I started to notice how their colors still incorporate with the themes. So I decided, you know what, what the heck, I'll put them all on. And it still looks exactly like the theme I wanted. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. As you can see, it's so beautiful. And underneath the tree, I have this really cute box that I got at the dollar store. and. I just thought this box was so, so cute and fitted my theme perfectly, and I didn't know originally what I was going to do with it. I just thought the box looked so beautiful, and I just constantly kept looking at it while I was at the store, and I thought, I love this box so much, but what do I do with it? And then I got an idea, and I decided to use it to keep all my Christmas cards in that I get sent every year, so I have a couple of cards in there already. And it's just a pink and white uh, reindeer with a pink gift and a pink scarf and she's got lights all on her antlers and it's just absolutely adorable so totally girly cute and pink and it's just perfect <laughs> what else can I say that's all I gotta say about that and so if you go up you can see all the beautiful decorations. I have some shots that I took a, of close-ups of some of my favorite decorations on the tree, so I will show you that now. And as you can see, I put a bow on the top instead of a star, because I couldn't find my star at first. And then I remembered I saw this bow at the dollar store and I ran back to get it because the color scheme fit perfectly with the rest of the tree. And so I think it looks absolutely incredible. I think it looks better than the star. It adds an extra sweet pop of color. So that is my Christmas tree. So if I continue on with the tour, so if I go this way, this is one of my dressers and these are my collection of beautiful unicorns and if you watched my last t room tour video back during Halloween, um, I showed these off but I added a couple of new things. I added these two mini pink buckets with unicorns on the front and I thought they looked really cute and I also have these two beautiful crystal uh, figurines that I made and painted myself from a crystal growing kit it's actually really cool some of the stuff is handmade some of them are uh, bought as is like the one in the back there I painted with the girl the fairy on the unicorns back and I painted the unicorn with the pink mane and tail. I have a sign hanging on my knob of this dresser here and it says, this home believes. So if we keep going this way, you can see on the wall, I made these signs. I got these wooden slabs, whatever you call them, from the dollar store as well and I painted them one says, I'm dreaming of a pink Christmas, and the other one is purple, <clears throat> a light purple, and it says, baby, it's cold outside, and I added a glittery silver star or snowflake on both signs as well. What I did was I painted, and while the paint was still wet, I sprinkled on some silver glitter, and it looks just absolutely perfect with the theme of the room. 
And don't mind this, that is just my laptop sitting on top of a small storage drawer set with all my uh, personal <laughs> clothing in. That cushion is just on the floor right now, but I use it when I want to sit on my bed and look on my laptop and I want something comfy to sit up straight against. So, <clears throat> and over this way towards the bed, here is my bedside table and I have my iPad case on there and I also have a singing dancing Minnie Mouse from Bath and Body Works in the scent Twisted Peppermint. I never light this candle. It's for decoration purposes only because it's just too pretty light and it goes perfectly with this bedroom theme. And on top of it is something else that I actually got from Bath and Body Works too. About a couple years ago, Bath and Body Works was selling these candle toppers and this one in particular is a snow globe. And I will show you uh, what it looks like a little more uh, further into the video. So, as we look up, you will see I have some tinsel with some white lights plugged in and three nutcrackers. Um, two of them are pink, <clears throat> obviously. This one is actually a gift that I got for Christmas on Christmas Eve, um, I don't know, like 12 years ago, I'm not sure. Unfortunately, his one eyebrow and half of his mustache is missing from being in storage for a very long time, so I'm gonna have to fix that. <clears throat> and it says, Imagine and Dream on the wall, and I have the same pictures from my last uh, room tour video up here, so I won't uh, explain what those are. And over here, on this other side of the bed, is a pink Christmas tree, and this one is all Hello Kitty themed, because if I move in closer, you will see that it has Hello Kitty Christmas decorations on it, except for this little one right here is a snowman with my name on it. <laughs> but yeah, I've got this pretty Hello Kitty one in a pink snowsuit. I got this one down here. I've got this one here. She's holding a present, I think. Here she is inside a little stocking with a candy cane, <laughs> and over here she's uh, holding a candy cane, I think, uh, I can't really tell. And the cool thing about this tree is that it blinks different light settings, so you can leave it this way to let it blink, and it, or you can uh, press a button and it can, you can keep the lights just white or you can press it again and it just stays colored and I turned it on for the blinking setting so you could see what it looks like both ways for the video and I think it looks really nice that way and on my bed here oh <laughs> Rudolph is sitting here and he fell over but I had to fix him so I got little Rudolph my buddy sitting on the bed with me and as you can see, I changed the bed setting because obviously my theme this year is Pink Candyland, Land of Sweets. And so I got a pink bed set, pink throw pillows, and this one throw pillow here was a Christmas gift from my mom last year. It says, ride unicorns, swim with mermaids, chase rainbows, and that is just like so me. <laughs> I'm a mermaid in the summer and a unicorn for the rest of the time. All it has to say now is slay vampires or something and that would <laughs> and that would totally be me, but it wouldn't fit with the color scheme. <laughs> and so over here are my closet doors. I have two of them. I'm not gonna show you what's inside because it's a mess inside both of them right now because one is for clothes and the other one is just for storage and it's completely unorganized so the doors are shut so it looks nicer and neater. 
So once everything is all organized and my apartment is all finished and built, I will give you guys a closet tour at some point and make a video for that. So I have a sign on this door hanging on the knob that says Merry Christmas and this is very special because this is my Christmas stocking that I've had my whole entire life. I always hung this up on Christmas Eve and I would find it on the outside of my bedroom door every Christmas morning so that way when my parents were still asleep and I happened to wake up a little earlier I could look and dig through my stocking so it would give them some extra time to sleep and I think that's a really cool idea and ever since then I've hung my stocking outside my door every Christmas for the past years and years <laughs> and it's a mouse stocking and it's absolutely cute I will never 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 get rid of this until like maybe I have like a niece someday then it will be passed down to them so for now I am keeping it and I'm hanging it up just as a decoration. We're not doing stockings this year because we decided it's just too much money and a lot of the stuff that we get in our stockings, like last year, like we hardly used any of the stuff that we got. So we decided to skip out on it this year. So he's just hanging there as a decoration and I love him. And I have my beautiful calendar as well. I have to show off my calendar because um, there's a different picture every month, obviously. And the December picture, oh, it's so gorgeous. She almost kind of looks like a, like a witch or a Wiccan. And it's a beautiful winter forest scene, and she's petting the unicorn, and there's snow, and I love the deep, the, the soft purple and deep blues that go with it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful winter wonderland poster. I love it. And over here is my hamster's tank. And just like my room, the theme for this tank is Land of Sweets, Candyland, tank inspired. So all themed around candy and Christmas sweets. So a cage tour video will be coming on my second channel, Victoria's Pets, so you can see a whole tour of the, of the cage and what I put in there. And he's obviously asleep right now in his little gingerbread house hideout, so I'm not going to bug him right now. So that is it for my Christmas bedroom tour of 2020. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. And I hope you're all happy and safe and home with your families. And that you are still enjoying the holiday, even though it's a bit different this year. I can't wait to talk to you guys in the next video. So happy holidays and I will see you soon. Merry Christmas!